Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to send all of your Google Form submissions to a webhook in make.com if you're using a regular gmail.com account. We're working with this account, automate what? Demo at gmail.com. Normally what you would do, if you have a paid Google Workspace account tied to your domain, so mason at automate what.com, that's my domain. Normally what you do is you go to these three dots and then get add-ons. It'll take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace. You type in make and install make for Google Forms right there. And then you'd go to this puzzle icon, make for Google Forms, configure the webhook, and this window will appear down here where you can check this box and then paste in your webhook address from make.com in right there, hit save, and then it's connected to make.com. Every single form submission is going to trigger that webhook in make.com. But this isn't the case with a regular gmail.com account right there. In this case, the configuration is a little more advanced and for that, we're gonna use the script editor right here. It's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in this script right here. So copy that, select all, paste. And then all we need to do is swap out this guy for our webhook address. That's all we need to do. Well, there's a couple other steps, but I'll walk you guys through it. I'll have this script available for you guys in the resources down below. By the way, be sure to hop into the AWA Pro community where I've got tons of useful tips and tricks for you guys. In the classroom, I have a full-blown make.com course for you guys, taking you from the absolute beginning all the way through advanced. And by the very end, you're gonna be very comfortable with make.com, as well as an open AI course teaching you all of the beginner stuff and advanced stuff with ChatGPT and the API and my template library with full breakdown tutorial videos for you guys. And these are lengthy videos. Some of them are an hour and a half long, and these are edited down videos to make it as efficient as possible, so I'm not wasting your guys' time. So we're going back to make.com. We're going to copy our webhook address, right? So add your webhooks, custom webhook module, and then copy this address once you've added your webhook. And then back in this app script editor, we're going to paste in our webhook address right there. We're gonna go up here to deploy this project, new deployment. It's gonna take you to this window right here. Go to this little gear icon and then select the type as web app. And then our description is going to be this. You can honestly name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name mine Google Form, App Script, Webhook Demo. Who has access? Only myself. I'm gonna hit deploy and it's going to take a second. It's going to ask you, the web app requires you to authorize access to your data. Go ahead and authorize access. It'll take you to this window where you sign into your gmail.com account. This window right here may pop up. Google hasn't verified this app. Of course it hasn't yet. Go ahead and hit advanced and then click this guy down here, go to untitled project and hit allow. It's going to update the deployment. And if it's successful, it'll take you to this screen right here. You don't need any of this information. Go ahead and hit done. And then over here, what we need to do is we need to configure our trigger. So right here on the left-hand side, go to the triggers tab. And then down here in the bottom right-hand corner, click add trigger. And then all we need to change in this window right here is this guy, select event type. We're gonna change it from on open to on form submit. Go ahead and hit save. And once it's successful, it'll show up right here. And we're good, let's go ahead and take it for a spin. So going back to our Google form, first we need to publish our Google form. I'm just gonna say anyone with the link, publish. You can go ahead and try hitting the preview and see if it'll allow you to submit a response. I don't think it's going to allow us. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to this little link icon right here, copy the responder link, copy that, and then just go to a new tab and paste that in and it'll take you to a window where you can actually submit a response. So we're just gonna use myself, Mason, and then my favorite color is blue. And then back in make.com, we just want to make sure that this guy is listening to determine the data structure. So let's hit submit. And then back here in make.com, we'll wait. And it should say successfully determined right here. Let's run this one more time. I'm gonna say run once, and I'm gonna show you in real time. And we're gonna submit another response. I'm gonna show you in real time. So let's say my name is Rick this time, and my favorite color is green. Hit submit. Go back to make.com, and it should trigger this webhook. Yep, so my name is Rick and favorite color is green. So we're working properly. Now, one thing to know, if this doesn't work the first time, there may have been an issue when you were in the editor and you pasted in your webhook and you hit deploy, there may have been an issue where it failed to deploy properly. You can go ahead and try this again. You may need to try a new deployment or manage your deployments. Hit edit, hit deploy again, and see if it will push it through successfully. That's just a side note in case you're running into issues, but it should work for you the first time. Yes, I know that there's a Google Forms watch responses module. This is useful in some use cases, but for the most part, these form submissions from Google Forms, they're time sensitive. We need to know immediately as soon as a form is submitted, right? What if it's a new customer? We're not gonna wait for the next time this automation to kick on in five hours or tomorrow 
to grab that information and push it through our system because by then we've probably already lost our customer. In most cases, form submissions are time sensitive, so we need immediate notifications upon form submissions. And that's why more often than not, you're going to be configuring it this way. But if it's not time sensitive or as time sensitive, this module I still use from time to time. So again, I'll have this script available for you guys to copy and paste into your own app script. And yeah, you should be good. Remember, you'll only need to configure it this way if you are using a regular gmail.com account. If you have a paid Google Workspace account tied to your domain, like automatewhat.com, it's a lot more simple. All you have to do is go to add-ons, make for Google Forms, configure webhook, make sure this box is checked right here, and then paste in your webhook address, hit save, and you're good to go. I think this video is gonna help a lot of people out. If you like make.com, AI, no code automation, anything of that sort, go ahead and give me a follow because I've got tons of tips, tricks, tutorials for you guys. And again, feel free to hop into the AWA Pro community for more exclusive content. Thanks guys.